Buenas amigos, ¿qué tal? Estamos de regreso and welcome to Successful Women in Business. We want to create an online video podcast community of successful women who share their leadership experiences. As in 2022, 8% of women make up the Fortune 500. With our new concept, we want to optimize, contextualize and personalize your stories and share your personal brand. Welcome to our channel. Buenas amigos, ¿qué tal? Estamos de regreso and welcome to a new episode of Lincoln. We've started this wonderful project about female leadership and female empowerment and I'm extremely but extremely honored to welcome you to one of the leaders I admire the most, Mrs. Pratima Ferrand, my course director here at Glion. Indeed, today I came from Zurich to meet her for lunch and to like have a follow-up about this month apart and also talking more about my internship in Zurich. So, first of all, a big welcome to you. Thank you, Beatrice. And we want to know more about you, about your personal background, what you brought to Switzerland, to the hospitality world, and also uh, to the director roles here in this school. Okay. I must say, I'm also delighted to have Beatrice as uh, one of my students, one of the greatest ambassadors that I've come across at Leon as well. Um, so um, I'm Pretima, I'm the program director for the, the master's program where uh, Beatrice has just uh, been studying now, mm -hmm. she's on her internship. Um, so my career path, it started, uh, I wanted to study hospitality, I always had a passion for people, um, coming from a background where my family were saying, you know, you should consider becoming a doctor mm -hmm. or a, a lawyer, it just didn't interest me, I was always about people. Always what? parents tell is not what the, the kids yes. want to do. Yeah. So, so it's like this. I studied hospitality at a very young age. Um, straight away from finishing my degree, I went out to work um, in a place called Minorca mm -hmm. um, in the Balearca Islands. Yeah. And that was with dealing with uh, guests that were coming over from the UK. Um, and following that, I spent many years uh, in different countries, different continents. Uh, I actually ended up in Canada meeting mm -hmm. my husband, who's British. <laughs> I met him in Canada. Um, and in the summer, he actually spent time working in Switzerland. And he, when I met him, he asked me if I wanted to join him in Switzerland. So that's how I arrived here many years ago. But uh, we did move around quite a bit mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so working with people, that was one of the main things that I really enjoyed in the industry. Um, you know, ensuring that their time is enjoyable, you know, doing things for them, helping helping them. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, as I said, it was linked to my passion and also what I studied as well. Um, and then I actually went back to the UK. So mm -hmm. I'm originally from the UK. Uh, I went back to the UK. I think, I think you can tell from... You can tell. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> accent. <laughs> uh, so yes, I went back to the UK um, and I started working for a company called Eurostar, okay. uh, which is the train company that goes from London to Paris, London mm -hmm. to Brussels. Um, I joined as somebody working in the station, so helping again mm -hmm. people, working sort of on the ticketing side of things. Um, and then eventually, this is sort of where my career started in sales. So I joined the sales team there as a, an account executive, um, so working very much on the administrative side. Um, but that's where I think I really realized my passion for sales. Um, if you believe in something, you can be energetic about it. Absolutely. Um, and that's where I started um, working in the sales team, so working with corporate clients, uh, looking, uh, working with uh, leisure clients uh, and also on the agency side as well. So I managed to get experience across there. Mm -hmm. um, I also work for a company called Virgin Atlantic. So okay. uh, again, on the hospitality side, a bit in an airline sector. Mm -hmm. um, and that was for about 10 years in the UK. Um, mm -hmm. And then actually what brought me to Switzerland was the fact that um, I became a mum. Mm -hmm. So um, I had my son, I stayed off work for about a year and, and it was actually when I went back to work I realised that um, having a young child and being able to um, you know, work full time yeah. was difficult. Yeah, um, this is a big deal. And I think you're working out like quite well. Well I, mean, I think it was at the time, it, for me it was um, my son, the time, you know, he was young, I was leaving him as a baby. Yeah. Uh, I think you asked me earlier some of the challenges that you yeah. faced, uh, face as a woman as well. 
Um, and I wanted to be able to devote the time to him. So yeah. my husband and I actually made a very big uh, decision that we would leave the UK and we moved to Switzerland. Mm-hmm. So this is where we are here now. Mm-hmm. So it you would... think that Switzerland is better for having like a family and like work-life balance? Or... Absolutely, yes. Okay. Yeah. So one of the big uh, issues I found when I went back to the work in the UK was that I was commuting four hours, mm-hmm. leaving a young child. Um, oh, you four know, hours a lot. Like so, four and four, four or two, 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 two and two. Oh, okay. Yeah, so four hours of my day was commuting into London, no, no point. leaving a young child. Um, and even though I loved my job, um, it was time to make a decision to move—a mm-hmm. drastic decision. We, mm-hmm. So we chose. Are to you missing UK or no? No, no, I love it here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean it's so different. Like you're more relaxed. London, everyone is like running to work. Of course, so it's, yeah, it's yeah. a different lifestyle. Yeah, I know that you just said to bring up a child in in uh, Switzerland. The life balance is uh, very Much different. Um, so we decided to make a big move. Uh, we sold our house. I gave up my job mm-hmm. um, with a company that I'd been for a long time. And we decided to move to Switzerland. So mm-hmm. it was a big risk. Um, I had no job when I came here. Mm-hmm. Um, and the first year was spent um, you know, integrating the family mm-hmm. um, and just taking that time with my son. Because what I realized as a, as a mother, mother that you don't, never get that time back Absolutely with your child. Not. So those uh, couple of years with him, they were challenging because I wasn't working financially as well. We had to survive on one salary, my mm-hmm. husband. Um, but you know we we did it make it yeah Yeah. and uh, yeah and it's a decision that uh, we made together and I think what's one of my life learnings is that if you make a decision go with it um, and live with it as well don't ever we didn't didn't ever want to be in the situation of we wish we would have done that Mm -hmm. so uh, so yeah and 10 years later you can tell that it's worth it Yes, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Um, do you have any advices or suggestion you would give to someone like me with starting the career? Absolutely. I am. Um, I'm saying going back to hospitality. It's a fantastic industry mm-hmm. to be in. Um, for advice for my students that come in, take those risks. Um, I always say, if you make a decision, go with it. Okay. Don't ever go on the fact I wish I'd done this. No. You go with it. You follow it through. I mean, you feel worse when you say, "Oh, I regret not doing this." I mean, actually, you do. You do a mistake. You understand from that. You learn from it. Yeah, yeah. and you like yeah. just change director yeah. on on the way. If we hadn't made the decision to move to Switzerland, my life would have been very Absolutely. different. I don't know how. Workaholic. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, here in Switzerland, we have a very good uh, um, life together now. And I was very fortunate that I ended up finding a job working in an industry where I have passion and now I can share this with future leaders mm-hmm. like yourself mm-hmm. and for me what is I it? can really feel your passion like really was when we were t- talking before it was like you are passion but also you can uh, transmit to the people like really I I felt from the very beginning but uh, even before when I had the interview with you so yeah and that's what I found from you <laughs> yeah it's a mutual thing that uh, you feel that passion yeah, I think it's synergy it. somehow yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you so much for your words. We're going to be like super worthy and you're going to be part of this amazing community of women. And stay tuned for mucho más and thank you again for being on this screen. Here or Lincoln. Thank you.